All right, next one. So that was the power set. The next would be the cross product. So the power set was the set of all subsets of a set. So it's a set of sets. It has a purpose. You, a lot of times we're interested in the subsets. So let's just write them all. That's why we're interested in it. The cross product, on the other hand, would be the set of all n tuples from n sets. So what would this application be? The idea here, say for example, if n is equal to 2, and let's say a is made up of the number, the bits, 0, 1, everything up to, say not bits, sorry, the decimals from 0 to 9, and say b is made up of a, b, c, up to z, which is the lowercase alphabet. And I simply say pick an ordered pair. The idea of picking an ordered pair is this idea of an ordered pair is we would take from A then from B. And so an example of that would be say 1C. That's an ordered pair from that. Eventually we'll talk about all of them, right? So what's the concept between, so the ordered pair would be take something from A and then take some from B and keep the order. And so we would have two. The cross product is the collection of all such operations. How many total that you would ever have. If I wanted to make all of them, what would I do? 0A, 0B, 0C, up to 0Z. And then 1A, 1B, 1C, up to 1Z. And then 2A, 2B, 2C, up to 2Z. Those are all possible ordered pairs that would ever exist. So the cross product is collect all of them. So if I would have, say, A1 cross A2, this is a set of all AB such that A is in A1 and B is in A2. If we would go in general, what if I had a bunch of sets, like A1 cross A2 cross everything up to AN? Well, now I don't have ordered pairs. I have ordered, say, A1, A2, up to AN. That's an ordered n-tuple, which for all i, little a sub i is in capital A sub i. And for all is what? A bunch of ands. So I'm just being lazy, not writing all those ands. So that's simply say, collect all the n-tuples. Why do we want to do this? Well. Um, when we pair off, it's called a binary relation. We're pairing off two sets. We do these things all the time. And one of the things that we could have, if they pair off in a special way, we might call it a function. Right? If, they call, if we pair off n objects, we call it an n, -ary, an n -ary relation. Right? We could sit there and say things like, well, what is this? Well, this could be a collection of n-tuples would be... Um, I have the set of chairs, I have the set of students, I have the set of shoes, I have the set of watches, I have the set of hats, and I have the set of shirts, and I have the set of books. All right? And then I would sit there and say, I could pull, all right, we have a person with the chair that they're sitting in, the shoes that they're wearing, the hat that they're wearing, right? All of those sorts of things, what does that form? A single n-tuple. Can you see applications of this? Databases? Right? Isn't that what a database is? It's like it's a collection of here's a specific thing that has all of these properties that go together with, well, that's a record, right? A record within a relational database. Why is it called a relational database? Because a collection of n-tuples are, right? This is a relationship. How do these sets relate to one another? Right? And we just have this thing has been formed in some way. It's also a good introduction to the word random. Uh, when we have the word random in mathematics, that means it, it's too hard, it makes my brain hurt. It's like something must have happened to make us be in this room, sitting in the chair you're sitting, wearing the clothes that you're wearing, right, at this moment. Do you think it would be even possible to actually state what that rule was? Or is it so complicated, we'll just say this, random. 
it randomly happened. But I definitely know it's not random because I tend, you guys tend to sit in the same spots. Some rule has happened. <laughs> Something has happened. I just, there's no possible way I could ever, you know, even imagine writing that down to make it repeatable. I'll just say random, even though I know it's not. It's kind of an interesting question. And we can even measure randomness, like other types of randomness. What does random even mean? Is it a normal random? What type of random distribution are you talking about? And the cardinality of such, say the cardinality of A1 cross A2 cross everything up to AN, it's rather easy. What do you do? How many ways could you take an element from the first? Well, how many things are there? And then what would you do? You'd pick the next element. And you'd pick the next element. And so all we're going to do is just simply multiply the cardinalities of each. These operations have specific applications. This one right here, cross product, we're going to have an entire chapter on what are all these interesting things. We'll eventually we'll talk about binary, we'll have n area relations, but we're going to have to go down to binary because n area is too complicated. The only thing that we do with n area relations is say this is relational databases. And we have all these things that we can do with operators on these n tuples, but it's a relational database. What's physically, mentally capable of working with is we'll, we'll limit our abilities to two, and then we'll even limit it further and call it functions. But these are binary relations or relations, and then we have an entire chapter over just the discussions of sets of ordered pairs. Oddly enough, sets of ordered five tuples stated in a particular way are all computational machines that could ever possibly exist. It's just a set of five tuples. Anything you could ever program is just a set of five tuples. And they're called Turing machines. <laughs>